You want to know how to shoot product photography at home? And while I may not be the best in the game at this type of stuff, I do know the basics. And come on, don't act like you didn't want to watch my video anyways. What is up everyone? I am so glad that I am back in my original filming position. I went and got a light from Amazon and then I also have another light here and then I have one in the back. So I say my lighting setup is pretty okay for the time being. Now, with that being said, let's get on to the, uh, to the video. Why not? The basics of any product shoot should be lighting. I know this is an at-home task, but literally any extra light will do. Understanding light can be a huge advantage in product photography. But I do understand we are all at home and have limited resources. We just gotta do what we gotta do as creators, and we just gotta freaking create. So the first thing you will need is a place to shoot, and for my location, I have chosen my room. Mainly because the quarantine is still going on for some of you guys uh, across the state, and it's the most convenient for most of my viewers. So, uh, yeah. And for this specific video, I'm going to talk about how to actually shoot the product. So once you've got your location, you need your product. And for my product, I've chosen Polo Blue Cologne, which has a nice reflection to it. That's the reason I picked it. Your product doesn't always have to look good, but when it does, it helps a lot more. So the whole reason I even showed you guys those photos in the first place was because I was supposed to do a product shoot for my buddies, but I thought I'd try and teach you guys how to do it yourself. Photos like this are not hard to make. All you have to do is have an idea and execute it, and also some lighting and a product. Now you need a product, because you can't shoot product photography without a product. Okay, so once you've got your location and your product, next is your setup. So a setup with at least one or more lights uh, can be doable, but if you only have one light, that's okay, don't stress about it. You can only do what you can do. But if you have the option to get more than one light, I highly recommend you go to Home Depot, get a cheap light, uh, get a cheap stand somewhere, somehow, and uh, make, make, that, make that product look good. Hey, listen, I know why you're here. And yes, I'm making you look at yourself in the eye, okay? Now tell yourself, I will subscribe. I will subscribe. Okay, so now that you've done that, you actually have to legally subscribe. So scroll down a few inches, click the red button, click the like button. That's all you got to do. Thanks. See you later. Okay. Now your whole setup could be just a poster taped to your TV with one light shining on it. But you could, if you wanted to, add more lights. You could, uh, see what I'm doing right here with the, with the phone connected to the TV. This is just a white background from YouTube, okay? So literally, all I did, here I'll show you. I'll show you guys on camera right now, okay? So literally all I did was search up white screen on YouTube. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's literally like a 24 hour long video, okay? I'm not gonna leave that on there for 24 hours. I can search up any video that I want, right? I can look up, okay, so let's say if I wanted to have this sort of background to my product photography, this bokeh background, this colorful bokeh, I could have that, right? So it's literally an endless option because you have YouTube, so. What I like to do if I'm using my TV as my background is connect my phone to my Xbox and play a video in the back. I'll usually just connect my phone with my YouTube and search in white color screen or bokeh background, and that usually works for me. But you can search anything. Does anybody, when they take product shoots, just absolutely fall in love with it? Like, I just absolutely love taking product photos. I don't know what it is about it, if it's just the calm experience. It's not so hectic, I guess, you know? it's Everything's placed and it's supposed to be where it's supposed to be. What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Get onto the video. Do the, make your video. Okay, so now, once you've got everything in sight, next is your poses or positions. Now with this blue polo cologne, I'm gonna set up a few different uh, positions for it and uh, try and snap some pictures. Okay, so once you've got your product ready for the shot and you've got all your poses ready, I'm gonna need you guys to take as many pictures as you can. I need you to take more pictures than you think is necessary because the more, the better. The more options that the client or whoever you're trying to give them to will have the options to pick from, right? Okay, now, once we get done with the photo shoot, next is importing the photos from your camera to your computer into Lightroom. Lightroom, Lightroom, Lightroom. Photographers, if you don't use Lightroom, I strongly suggest you download that app. You need to, okay? It teaches you so much about photography that you probably didn't even know. That 
will be for another video. Uh, but basically, how I edit my photos is uh, S curve, bring highlights up, bring shadows down, and then add a filter. Basically, that's all you have to do. Uh, that's just a basic rundown on it. So, yeah. And that's pretty much it, guys. I really appreciate you if you're still here. I would like it a lot if you could hit the like and subscribe button for me. It would mean a lot to me, honestly. Uh, but if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. But if you do it, you know. Hey. Okay, guys, that is pretty much it on my product photography tutorial. I hope that I taught you guys something. If I didn't, uh, oh well, right? Because I'm not the best teacher, right? I don't have a freaking degree in teaching, right? I have a degree, I have a diploma right there. Hello. Okay, so this is the end of my video. So I need to have something special at the end of my videos. If you if you make it to this to this point in the video, please let me know. Give me a unique idea to do at the end of the video, right? Because I mean, it's kind of boring just ending the video, right? Nobody wants to just end the video. Sometimes you just got to. Okay, bye.